Welcome back to Homeschool Life. I'm Paula, I'm a homeschool mom and I'm a writer here at Mardell. And I love homeschool and I love homeschool the community. So that's what we're here for is to provide a place for you to learn and grow and share and be encouraged. All right, so please be sure to leave us a comment, um, ask any questions, share your experiences with us, all right, and with each other. And also be sure to click on the notification bell and subscribe so that you can keep up with all of our latest content. All right, today I wanna to do a curriculum review for you, and this is gonna be math, and this is going to be for your elementary school kids, all right, and it is primary mathematics, but it is better known as Singapore math. All right. It is an award winning and it is a very um, high quality math curriculum that has been around for a number of years. So before I get into this, I just want to remind you that whenever you're picking out any kind of new curriculum, think carefully how your child learns best. Are they a real strict logical thinker? Um, do they learn better with a lot of repetition? Those types of things. And you can check out other videos for tips on that. But as you are thinking through this and you are researching all the different curriculums out there for your different subjects, keep in mind how your child learns best. Now, this does not mean that you cannot pick a different curriculum for a different learning style. You can always tweak it. You can uh, supplement it. And so you can make it your own. Lots and lots of homeschool parents and families do this. All right, so now let's talk about Singapore math, okay? The interesting thing about Singapore math is it was originally developed and made in English for the country of Singapore. And there was a family that was living there and their child was going to school there and then they moved to the United States. And when their child started going to school here in the United States, they quickly realized that the math curriculum that the school was using was not up to the standards as what they had been using in Singapore. So they just started supplementing their Singapore curriculum with their American curriculum. And their child was doing better and other parents were noticing and pretty soon they decided that they needed to make this available to everyone here in the United States. And so they did. And so Singapore math came to the United States in the late 1990s. Now, some things to note about Singapore math. Um, this curriculum is designed to teach your child to think mathematically for understanding, okay? So it is a different kind of methodology, um, but as you will see, and um, you can research more yourself, um, it's very doable for you, even if you're not like a super math person, all right? So the methodology that they use is they start with concrete and then they go to pictorial and then abstract approach. All right, so what does this mean? What does this look like? So it's teaching your child, say, to count using real apples, okay? And so you're teaching them to count or addition or subtraction or whatever it is, but you're using a real concrete object. Well, then you progress with that child to um, the pictorial. So now this is in the workbook and it is pictures of apples and they're still doing those same skills. And then you advance to the abstract. What is that? That is simply the equations. It is written out two plus two equals four. It is those math symbols. All right. So. This is, again, a high quality education and it is aimed for mastery, all right? Your kids are going to use a lot of critical thinking skills, they're gonna use mental math, and they're going to do some other techniques as well. All right, you will teach the same concept in different ways so they learn it more than one way and you will use manipulatives like the apples. Okay, it is very traditional and classical it is secular, and so that means there's no religion in it whatsoever. Um, students tend to score very high on standardized tests when they use Singapore math. And this is for your grades K through six. All right, it is very, very good for your logical learners. Um, it is for uh, your kids that don't need a lot of daily review because there is not daily review um, it is progressive lessons and there is cumulative reviews, but as far as daily repetitive review, that is not in this type of curriculum. 
Um, it is also very good, um, interestingly, for both right and left brain learners. So this is a math curriculum that can use for both of those. Now, they do a great job of balancing you teaching and then them independently doing some work. So what does this look like? So you're going to spend some time and you're going to preview the lesson that you're going to teach ahead of time. And there's some helps for you out there that I'll tell you at the end of this video as well. And so you preview and so now you know what you're teaching. So you're gonna teach them for like 10 or 15 minutes a lesson. And then they're going to work in their workbook for about 15, 20 minutes and then that's it. All right, so um, with each level, they are in levels, not grades. So I, I have level one here. This is everything that you need for level one, okay? So for instance, in level one, you're going to have two textbooks, two workbooks, and you will have two home instructor guides. And then if you would like, additionally, you can get the answer keys book and this has all of the answers, just straightforward answers. It doesn't have anything else. If you don't prefer this view, then the answers are in your home instructor guide, but it just has other things on the pages as well. So in your textbook, the textbooks for kindergarten and for 1A, B, and 2A and B are full color, as you see in these pages. And then after that, they are two colors. All right, it's kind of a pinkish fuchsia color. And so that is your textbooks. And within here are sequential lessons that there is an intentional progression of concepts within each unit. There is no spiral learning or rote memorization. And that is what is in your textbook that you will be teaching out of. All right, and then each workbook has a variety of practice problems and reviews and tests and you can see the nice big print and it is uh, all black and white pages and um, there will be your word problems and your cumulative reviews and so this is what you will find in your student workbooks and then your home instructor guides those are made particularly for the homeschoolers and so that's fantastic. And so within your homeschool, your home instructor's guide, you will find lesson plans and teacher instructions and answer keys and activities. If you need more hands-on learning for your particular student or for just a particular um, topic. So these are the components that you will need for each of the levels and each level has its own unique color on the covers. So that makes it really easy for your students to um, go and pick out off the shelf whatever level you're in, whether it's A or B, um, and also what level if it's one, two, three, four, five, or six. Okay, what resources do I have for you? As always, kathyduffyreviews.com. I just really love her website. She will tell you specifically what is in, what skills are taught in each of these different books. There is also singaporemath.com. If you're not quite sure which level to start your child in, go there and they have placement tests. And then singaporemathlive.com. They, with permission from Singapore Math, have created tutorials for you, the teacher, to watch to help you if you're not that super math minded or there's just something that you're like, okay, I think I know this, but I just want to see it from somebody else. They've got things like that for you there. Now, as always, check out Mardell.com for these products and more. We have blog articles. We have videos. Um, you can also go to our Facebook and our YouTube channels and check out our homeschool life videos there as well and share those and like those and subscribe there as well. And as always, shop online and in our stores. We're here for you. I hope this was helpful. I hope that this inspires you and encourages you. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and enjoy your homeschool life.